but now when i select hindi if you see the app language has changed so with one just drop down i am giving a feature to user to change the language based on his or her preferences hello and welcome back on my youtube channel par doshi learning by doing so one of the recent products that i am exploring a lot and i'm learning a lot about it is ui path apps we even had a recent ui path global hackathon hyperhack 2022 and that one of the category was ui path apps so during that time and previously as well you have seen that i upload a lot of videos on ui path apps so one of the interesting things that i build this time for this video is to create a multilingual app adding languages to our ui path apps now i don't know whether this is the best way to do it or not but yes i gave it a try and i was able to successfully build a multilingual app today in this video we are going to see one very simple page where i have implemented this concept because i hope some type of a control comes in future or some integration comes in future with ui path apps where you can easily create multilingual app the current way that i have explored and found out is something like i just brainstormed and i saw how we could build and i was able to build that app so we'll see how we can build a multilingual app maybe not with the best way but yes we can build multilingual apps using ui path apps and let's see how we can make that possible so like i said i have created a very simple page as of now this is the only page that we are going to build that you see on my screen right now throughout the video but we will explore one very interesting concept that how we can implement a multilingual app so now if you see i have given an user to an option to select which language he wants to proceed with ahead it's english and hindi by default the page language you see is defaulted to english but the user can come and change the value over here now where are these languages coming from you cannot edit the app every time when you want to add a language or something like that so what i have done is i have created a data service entity which is app languages i have added that in my app we'll see how i have done that and here i have added two languages hindi and english so now if you see over here like i said we have an option to select a language when i select english nothing is going to change right let me zoom it a bit yeah nothing is going to change but now when i select hindi if you see the app language has changed so with one just drop down i am giving a feature to user to change the language based on his or her preferences so if i select hindi if you see the welcome turned into swagat hai and the proceed the language change to aage bade right that means proceed in english so yeah now if i want to go back to english i can just select that and the language will be resetted back to english so now let's go ahead and see how i have created this particular app okay i think i am zooming a lot but that's not required yeah okay so what i have done over here is i have used a uh, simple you could say you know a simple container that i have used within that i have kept an image ui path community image here i have added a header as you can see it is a header control and here i have added a button now where is the part where the language is getting changed we'll slowly come to that as well but now how i am populating the drop down dynamically from my data service entity so you have to write a small function over here that is of a sort function so if you want to see a detailed video about it i had created one video ui path apps if you can see integrating ui path apps drop down in data service so in this i have explained this particular concept in detail that how you can go and dynamically add values in drop down from your data service it becomes really easy when you can integrate data service entity with your apps so here is the sort function for that and the column that i'm populating is language now we are going to come to the interesting part for which we have built this app that how i am changing the language or changing the text values so 
like i said the default values are english so if you see the text over here is welcome and here it is proceed now coming over here i'm going to go to events when a value changes in drop down okay when a value changes in drop down i have to change the text that is there on my app page so here i have used a if condition okay so if my language is english so here i have done like drop down dot selected value i have passed this over here if it is english then i'm setting the values of my labels that means my headers and my proceed button text so if you see here it is welcome header dot value you have to drag this and the value that i'm setting to is welcome and in case of proceed button proceed now when the language is not english okay when the language is not english you see i'm changing the welcome header value to swagat hai and the proceed button value to aage bade so the text will dynamically change when the value changes in drop down so all the labels that you have within your app page or wherever the text that you are using which is static text you have to replace that you have to set values to that controls that you are using so that is what we are doing over here we are using an if condition and we are doing that now it will have been much easier now since here it is only two language it is easy to do that now what if i have six or seven languages in that i will have to use if else multiple times and there are many conditions to be added right so in that case if we have something like a switch case like we have in our normal ui path process if we have that then it will become very easier to implement so i could just do drop down dot selected value and based on the cases i can implement that so this is one of the suggestions that i would like to also put on forum or if you have explored something on that lines please do comment below in the video but this is how we built our multilingual app yeah like i said in the start of the video i'm not sure if this is the correct way to do it or there is some uh, the feature that ui part team is going to come up with but like you see we have added the drop down on on value change we are doing the language change so i think we messed up with the condition over here and compare okay so we have deleted it and we are going to run it again so if i go hindi like swagat hai aage bade like we see how we have configured in our app and in english it is welcome and proceed so thank you for watching the complete video i hope you found this video helpful and some interesting concept implemented in ui path apps if you have tried to do this within your organization or for learning purpose and if you have some other way in which we can implement the language feel free to tag me on linkedin or comment on this video and maybe we can try to build something more feasible and more useful But yeah thank you for watching the complete video see you in next video